Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about how much it actually costs to start your Amazon store. I'm super excited to be filming this video. I think it's very important to talk about all of these different costs just so that you can make an informed decision on whether this is the right time for you to start your Amazon store yet or should you start saving up a little bit so that you can start it later. So let's get into it. I have broken down all of the costs into necessary costs and into optional costs. So I'm going to go through all the necessary costs at first and then I'll go through all of the optional costs that I think you could or could not do when you're starting off and you know they're gonna help your store anyway but they're not necessarily um, essential for you to start off let's say so I'll go through all of the necessary costs first number one you have the $39.99 monthly fee that you pay for your Amazon seller central account and this is a fee that you have to pay for you're just paying literally just to set up an Amazon seller account and you pay that every single month no matter how many sales you make and that comes with the professional account so I always recommend when you sign up for an Amazon seller account to just go with the professional because you get access to a lot more tools than you would if you signed up for the individual now I just want to clear this up don't mistake in signing up for the professional account as a business account because you can sign up for a professional account as an individual. So this might seem a little bit confusing. I'm going to have a video right here that I did before on how I quit my 9 to 5 and it has some more information on how to start your Amazon store and how to get that set up. Now the second cost that I think is necessary is $250 for samples. Now samples are super important. I don't think you should start your Amazon store without ordering samples. And the reason why I say $250 is because, you know, the samples themselves from China are usually pretty cheap. Like usually they're around two to three dollars. Sometimes even the manufacturer will give you a sample for free. But what's expensive is the shipping. So even when you're shipping one item from China to to the US or to Canada it's going to cost at least $50 or you know 40 to $50 so that's why I say a good budget for samples is $250 so that you can order five samples from different manufacturers the next cost is the inventory order so I usually put a budget of a thousand for this and the reason why I only put a thousand is because I don't think you should start off with a huge inventory uh, order I don't think you should start off with ordering two to three thousand units I think that's a lot you want to prove your concept at the beginning so a thousand dollars is good if you're ordering two 250 to 300 units um, you know usually the units will cost around two to three dollars obviously it depends on which product you are choosing choosing if the more expensive the product is the more expensive your inventory order is going to be at the beginning try to stay around the two to three dollar mark I think that's a really healthy inventory cost at the beginning so that you know you have your inventory cost if it's 300 units then it's going to be around 600 to 900 dollars and then you will also have your shipping fees on top of that the next cost is barcodes now when you're setting up an Amazon store you're going to need a barcode for each product that you are selling if the product is identical, like if you're selling only one variation of this product, then you will only need one barcode. But if you have different colors or different sizes or different variations of your product in general, then you're going to need several barcodes, one for each variation. So barcodes are very important to purchase from gs1us.org. These are the only barcodes that Amazon accepts. Don't get fooled into buying these third-party barcodes. You know, do that at your own risk because Amazon can first accept the barcode but then later on they can take your listing down and all of the efforts that you've done have gone to waste so if you're starting off your Amazon store you know do it right do everything right so that Amazon doesn't take down your listing later so barcodes are $250 for 10 barcodes you're either purchasing 1 to 10 or 10 to 100 or more so it's 250 for 1 to 10 barcodes and I recommend only getting the 1 to 10 because I don't think you should start with multiple Amazon products at the beginning I think you should start with one and then upgrade to more products later on 
Now the next cost is product photography and I put a budget of 50 to $100 for this. Now product photography is very important because this is like if you had your product in Walmart or in a retail store, your packaging is you know what your product photography is. This is what people are seeing on the outside, this is what's going to drive them to click on your listing. So it's important to have a good high quality product image. You want it to take up most of the image, you want it to be high quality, you want it to really show the details of your product and just have it be an attractive image in general so spending the 50 to 100 dollars on your product photography is really important because you really want to invest in that now obviously you can find local photographers in your area or you can go on fiverr.com where you can find product photographers um, you know in america freelancers and they will do your images for you the next cost that i have is the cost of a course now i have 240 dollars written for this because that's how much my course costs costs uh, but obviously there are many different courses out there there's some for five thousand there's some for six thousand so it definitely depends on which course you're gonna go for but I think it's important to sign up for a course in general because that way you have like a step-by-step -step guide on how to start your Amazon store you're guided through the way and you have a path to go on instead of just you know making a bunch of mistakes and trying to look for all of the information online it gets very overwhelming sometimes so I I say you know whatever step you're in just try to learn as much as possible about that step while you're in it and that's how the course helps you the course helps you stay focused and you know have that vision on just focusing on that one step and then moving forward to the next one so you don't get overwhelmed with a bunch of information that you're not sure is correct or not so I highly recommend taking a course when starting something like this just so that you can do it the right way the first time now don't get me wrong you're definitely still gonna make mistakes so there's no way to avoid making these mistakes but when you have a course at least you have kind of like a guide that you can follow just so that you know what path you're going on and some guidance and you have a community to fall into so I'm gonna have my course linked below it's called FBA Academy and that's where I teach that step-by-step -step guide on how to get your Amazon store started uh, my way and how I got it started my way I'm gonna have that link down below uh, so so you can check that out as well. Now the next cost that I have is for marketing and I have $200 written down for this. Now marketing comes in many different forms but I think at the beginning you should take advantage of the free social media marketing that's available for you. That means when you're creating a brand you know go ahead and make an Instagram account, create a, a YouTube for it, create a TikTok account for it, really take advantage of all the free marketing that you can get when it comes to your brand. Don't go straight away for the payment route but why I put $200 as a budget is because you're going to want to do rebates. Now, this is something that you can't avoid. I highly recommend doing this because this is really going to push your sales up to the first page for your desired keyword when it comes to Amazon. So the way that rebates works is you are basically giving away your product for free um, so that customers can search the keyword that you are targeting and then they have to scroll through all the pages until they find your listing and click on that listing and buy it and then you reimburse them for that amount back. So now this is very time consuming to be doing on your own and you know for you to be searching for friends and family that want to purchase your product so it's safe to just do it with an online platform and that is rebate.com and I want to thank rebate for sponsoring this portion of the video uh, rebate is an amazing platform to be able to do these campaigns on they hold the campaign for you and they do all of the hard work now you do pay a small fee for it but it's worth it because it saves you a lot of time and I recommend doing these rebates for you know a hundred units spread them out within two weeks and do it for your main uh, long tail keyword and that way you can rank up to the first page for your desired keyword and start to get organic sales. The next cost is Jungle Scout or any extension like that so whether it's Jungle Scout, Helium 10 but I prefer I like to use Jungle Scout so I have Jungle Scout written down and that is $59 a month. Now Jungle Scout is very important this is your extra vision for Amazon this is where you're able to see the revenue for the sellers um, how long they've been selling for their reviews 
reviews and everything like that it's really really important especially when you're picking and choosing a product you definitely cannot make a blind decision when choosing a product you need to be able to see how much are these competitors making uh, is it high competition is it high demand so jungle scout is very important and i think this should be one of the first expenses that you are spending on when deciding to start your amazon store now I do have a link for Jungle Scout, it is an affiliate link, but you do get a discount with that link, so I'm gonna have that in the description as well. So these are all the necessary costs and my total for this comes up to 2,139 US dollars. So this really matches up with what I say when I do my coaching sessions and when I do my course. I say start your Amazon store with a 2,000 to 3,000 dollar budget. And you know, there's a variant right there because I don't know how much the inventory is gonna cost you. I don't know how much the shipping is going to cost you. Um, in my course, I definitely talk about some, you know, guidelines so that you're not going too overboard with your inventory cost. But 2,000 to 3,000 dollars I think is a super healthy budget to start your Amazon store. Now keep in mind that when you're starting off you're not going to profit at the beginning. You're going to reinvest all of your profits back into your business at least six months to a year in because with Amazon you're really growing your orders fast and you're growing it a lot so you need to make sure that you are constantly in stock in Amazon which requires you to purchase more and more inventory every time. Now let's talk about the optional costs. These costs you know you might have to pay down the line, you definitely don't have to pay at the beginning when you're starting off your Amazon store but they will help either way even if you decide to go for it and you know you decide to just start off and pay everything right up front. So the first cost is trademarking. Now trademarking is very, very important and very beneficial for your Amazon store, but you definitely don't have to do it at the beginning. So when I teach it through my course, I teach a way on how to kind of bypass and you know, just avoid that cost at the beginning so it saves you quite a lot of money and that's why I usually say the course pays for itself because I teach you a lot of tips and tricks on how to save money that way. But trademarking, if you are in the US, usually costs you around $600. If you are outside of the US, like me, I live in Canada, you have to do it through a law firm because you do have to trademark in the US. So if you're outside of the US, it's going to cost you somewhere around $2,600, you know, depending on the law firm that you go through. So this is a very expensive cost. You know, I did it at the beginning and I regret doing it because now I know a way to get past that and not have to do it at the beginning. So I say prove your concept first and then once you've decided on a product and you've settled on it, then go ahead and trademark your brand. The next optional cost is fancy packaging. So I put $400 for this and I definitely think that this is not necessary at the beginning because when it comes to Amazon, you know, people are ordering it, they usually just throw away their packaging like they don't really pay attention to it now obviously fancy packaging is gonna cause people to have that wow factor it might lead to even more reviews but it's definitely just a luxury to have when it comes to your uh, product so something good to do down the line but you definitely don't have to do it at the beginning at the beginning I say keep your packaging as light as possible as small as possible try to not increase the size of the product too much just so you can retain as much of that profit margin as you can now the the next optional cost is hiring somebody on Fiverr to do your logo and that's a hundred to two hundred dollars. Now you might think that this is actually a necessary cost but there are a lot of different platforms that you can go on for free and create your logo like canva.com for example or you can even find just a cool font on a website called thousand and one fonts uh, and you know just have that be your branding and you know you can just pick a few letters from your logo name and have that be your logo. So, you know, there's a lot of different ways that you can come up with your own logo and still have it look cool and have it identify with your brand image that you're trying to portray. You don't have to hire somebody for this, but it's a nice to have to hire someone on Fiverr. And the last cost that I have is hiring a lawyer to do a patent search. Now, it's very important for you to check if the product that you're gonna sell on Amazon is patented or not, because if you are selling a patented product then the owner of that patent can easily just take down your listing and you know your inventory you're just basically stuck with it so hiring a lawyer I would say maybe is around $500 to do a patent search for you now again this is optional because you can actually just go ahead and do this patent search on your own on Google so you don't really need to hire a lawyer for it but if you really want to do it professionally and you have the extra budget then go ahead and hire somebody 
So that is it. These are all of the costs when it comes to starting your Amazon store. Now, as I said, a really healthy budget when starting your Amazon store is $2,000 to $3,000. I think everything else is just a nice to have. You definitely don't need to do it at the beginning. Okay, so thank you guys so much for watching this video. Uh, I really hope you enjoyed it and I hope you got some value out of it. And you know, if you enjoyed it, please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel and I'm gonna see you guys next week. Bye.